I need some space so I can process. I need some space so I can clear out. I need some space so I can process, process, process and catch up with myself. I need some space. Oh, I mean, I need some space because I'm marrying, I'm going through such a beautiful process, ability, pristine. I need some space to come to terms with myself. I need some space to let go, let go, let go and let all this stuff die off. I mean, space is space, right? But why can't you have space in the middle of New York City? Why can't you have space in the middle of the commercialized states all around you? Why can't you have space when you own the whole planet yourself? You can. And you do. We were at the Strip the other night at the Cosmopolitan. I mean, how much space did we have? It was just you and me. And everything else dissipated. So you have as much space as you would like. After this webcast, I'm about to get on an aeroplane to fly to California. I have the whole state and more. But it's like this. It's like that. But it's always, always, always in a state of fluidity, lightness. Because the truth of the matter is, what out here is my business? What out there do I have an opinion about? What out here am I going to let be my finite, innate purpose? Isn't that a fun one? Letting it be my business or purpose. When I get to play with everything, but looking for nothing. But isn't it amazing when everything lights up on its own? But I'm light, you're light. Why would anything be my business when I'm just having a blast with everything? But then, you know, isn't it amazing when you let yourself be here, but everything else unraveling right here and right here right here coming right here right here but yet wow you know what's the funnest part about that is that you're right here but yet you know None of it at all, wow, has an impact. None of it at all has the ability to close you down, to bring you in, to, clo to have you withdraw, to make you less than who you are. Because, wow, isn't it amazing when one of your brother's words, or another of your brother's behaviors, which are just really behaviors, another of your brother's wantings, desires, whatever, however, their wantings and desires, whatever, however, want something from you. And all of a sudden, you know, let's not forget, you have to abide and provide. Well, all is well, but have you ever questioned why? Why is it your job via responsibility to provide that? What makes it, why don't we call it our business? To take it in, to get angst with it, to mix it our job, organ wise too, because let's not forget, I mean, hey. This is playing with every particle of oneself that makes it your total innate, finite responsibility to take in, take on, to make it your specific, finite job to provide for. Uh, emotionally put, it could be offsprings, it could be family monad, it could be the job professions, it could be the metaphoric CEOs, it could be government. It could be BBB, but remember, if we don't provide, what is going to be the outcome? I mean, wow. Is everything going to be taken away? 
What if, what if, what if? Maybe, maybe. Could be, possibly. But yet, is it going to control you? I mean, that's what it comes down to, right?